so we have the word wisdom today. Hopefully you can hear me. There's a lot of traffic going on the highway out there. You can hear it from here, the Deerfoot Trail. That's the main thoroughfare through Calgary and it's just right close so you can hear it pretty loud. So hopefully you can hear me. Um, the word wisdom comes from the Greek Sophia and the English element is simply wisdom. Now the concordant definition the faculty which makes the highest and best application of knowledge. The Concordance Scripture references. First one is just phenomenal, tremendous. It just opens it right up. Romans 11:33. Oh, the depth of the riches and the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How inscrutable are his judgments and untraceable his ways. 1 Corinthians 1, 21 through 22. For since, in fact, in the wisdom of God, the world through wisdom knew not God. God delights through the stupidity of the heralding to save those who are believing since, in fact, Jews, signs are requesting and Greeks, wisdom, are seeking. 1 Corinthians 1, 24 through 25. Yet to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the stupidity of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. 1 Corinthians 1, 30 through 31. Yet you of him are in Christ Jesus, who became to us wisdom from God, besides righteousness and holiness and deliverance that according as it is written, he who is boasting in the Lord, let him be boasting. 1 Corinthians 2, 7, but we are speaking God's wisdom in a secret, wisdom which has been concealed, which God designates before, before the eons for our glory. Ephesians 3, 10, that now may be made known to the sovereignties and the authorities among the celestials, through the ecclesia, the multifarious wisdom of God. 1 Corinthians 1, 17, For Christ does not commission me to be baptizing, but to be bringing the evangel not in wisdom of word, lest the cross of Christ be made void. 1 Corinthians 1, 19 through 20, For it is written, I shall be destroying the wisdom of the wise, and the understanding of the intelligent shall I be repudiating. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the discusser of this eon? Does not God make stupid the wisdom of this world? 1 Corinthians 2, 1 through 2. And I coming to you, brethren, came not with superiority of word or of wisdom, announcing to you the testimony of God. For I decide not to perceive anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. 1 Corinthians 2, 2 through, 4 through 5. And my word and my heralding were not with the persuasive words of human wisdom, but with demonstration of spirit and of power, that your faith may not be in wisdom of men, but in the power of God. <clears throat> First Corinthians 2, 6 through 7. Yet, the wis yet wisdom are we speaking among the mature, Yet a wisdom not of this eon, neither of the chief men of this eon, who are being discarded. But we are speaking God's wisdom in a secret, wisdom which has been concealed, which God designates before, before the eons for our glory. 1 Corinthians 12, 8. For to one indeed through the Spirit is being given the word of wisdom, yet to another the word of knowledge according to the same Spirit. 2 Corinthians 1, 12, for our boasting in this, the testimony of our conscience, that in holiness and sincerity of God, not in fleshly wisdom, but in the grace of God, we behaved ourselves in the world, yet more superabundantly toward you. Ephesians 1, 7 through 8, 
in whom we are having the deliverance through his blood, the forgiveness of the offenses in accord with the riches of his grace, which he lavishes on us in all wisdom and prudence. Colossians 1, 9. Therefore, we also from the day in which we hear do not cease praying for you and requesting that you may be filled full with the realization of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Colossians 1, 28 whom we are announcing, admonishing every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we should be presenting every man mature in Christ Jesus. Colossians 3.16, let the word of Christ be making its home in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing yourselves in psalms, in hymns, in spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to God. Ephesians 1, 17, 17 through 18. That the God <coughs> of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may be giving you a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the realization of him. The eyes of your heart having been enlightened for you to perceive what is the expectation of his calling and what the riches of the glory of the enjoyment of his allotment among the saints. Colossians 2.3 In whom all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are concealed. Colossians 2.23 which are having indeed an expression of wisdom in a willful ritual and humility and asceticism, not of any value toward the surfeiting of the flesh. Colossians 4, 5 through 6. In wisdom, be walking toward those outside, reclaiming the era. Your word being always with grace, seasoned with salt, perceiving how you must answer each one.